Welcome back to the channel, and it is January 1st, 2023, so Happy New Year. In this video, I'm just going to be doing an update on all the bioactive setups and doing some maintenance, as well as checking on all the pets in the room. I'll also be sharing some future plans and goals that I have. But right now, I have a lot to do, so let's get to it. The first thing I need to do is fill up my water, because these are empty, and I'm running out of water, so let's go do that. also have some water conditioner, too, to make the water safe for all my pets. This little faucet here is actually filtered water, so that's what we use for our pets. And this is also our drinking water too. So I'm just gonna add some of the water conditioner. Now I just gotta fill this one up and we'll be good. Okay, both of the jugs are full. This one's for my frogs, so I'm just gonna set this over here for now. This one, we can use to fill up the spray bottle. I'm gonna put this back over here now. We can get started. This is insane. This is the bioactive dart frog setup five months later. The first thing I need to do is clean out this water dish and fill it back up. Okay, so the way I do this, I usually just turn this to the jet mode. I can, then I can spray all the stuff out of there. This is way easier than reaching in there and taking it out and pouring it out. And then I just, some water back in there now we have some new fresh water for the frogs and they're still hiding in their coconut okay let's take a closer look at these plants in here before we start trimming them um this is five months later so these plants <laughs> have gone crazy and they definitely need trimmed because we can't be having plants coming at us and choking out all the other plants too. And this is my first time using the substratum substrate. Oh yeah, I'll talk about this later too. But the substratum substrate, that substrate is incredible. As you can see, these plants have just grown like crazy. If you haven't seen the video where I set this bioactive tank up for my dart frogs, then go watch that because that video is actually my most viewed video now, it's at like 900. So I'm, I'm just, I don't know what to say, that's crazy. But yeah, I love this tank. But it definitely needs some maintenance, so let's get to it. Look at these plants one last time. These are the spider wart. That's the one that's taking over the whole tank. This is a peperomia. Not sure what these are. Um, those are pothos in the back and there's creeping fig that's growing along the back side but what's really cool about this tank is you can see all the roots in here like like look at all these roots all these plants have like grown their separate ways trying to get light okay so let's get to trimming so I ordered these scissors off of Amazon and these are for like aquarium plants, but you can use them for any plants, I guess. So they're like curved scissors, heavy duty. Let's test them out. I'm probably only gonna trim the spider wart because the rest of the plants aren't too bad actually. With the trimmings, I'm just gonna put them in here for now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them actually. I might put them in a pot somewhere else and put them in my house. I don't even have room in my grow out tank, so I don't even know. It's, I don't know. There's, just look at it. Like, what am I gonna do with all that? Okay, so the first ones, 
or probably these um the ones in the front because every time i open it i don't want plants falling at me dang these are sharp so i'll just throw them in there I don't want to cut it all down, but I know these will grow back really quickly. I don't want the other plants to get choked out and not be able to, to thrive in here. So, you know, it's just important to trim the plants a little bit. It's funny because they're all connected. If you look back at when I first made this, that's where I first planted it and now it's just like made so many branches. Quick check up to see how it's looking. Obviously, this needs to be trimmed down just a little bit so the other plants have room to grow. You never really notice how much the other plants grew because. That was taking up all the space. As you can see, these ones have grown in a little bit and even the creeping fig is climbing up the wall you can see back there. See, look at this. That's what it has to do to keep surviving. It's all bendy and stuff and it's even growing a new little plant right there. Here's an update. It looks way different. It looks so empty. You might be thinking, oh no, you cut too much. Trust me, this will grow back very quickly. This might give the other plants to take control a little bit. Like these pothos back here, these are actually growing in nicely. Look how big that leaf is. It just needed a little trimming and that's, that's how much I had to trim. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna feed these guys some fruit flies. So this culture is actually booming nicely. Yeah, I just made this one a while ago. But today we're gonna have to make another one. So after I feed them, I'll go make another one and bring you guys along. Okay, so I'm gonna write the date on here. It is the first. I got that cup. And the vitamins, calcium, pour a little bit in there. Usually just set it right there and then grab the fruit flies so they're not all on my floor. And just, oh my gosh, look how many there are. Jeez. So just dump some in there, and then uh, swirl it around so they're all dusted with calcium, and then dump them in there and let them enjoy the, their food. They will definitely come out of their coconut for that. Okay, so I'm gonna let them enjoy their food. Then we can finish a couple of more things up here. So this is what it looks like after. Looks way nicer. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all these cuttings. And an update on these guys. They are actually getting pretty big. As you can tell, they love their fruit flies. And they are growing. They seem to be happy and healthy little frogs. I really think they enjoy their new tank i'm so glad i upgraded their enclosure so the last thing i'm gonna do is wipe down the front of the glass and i picked up some of this cleaner
It's nice and clean. And the next thing I'm gonna do is make some fruit flies and then we can probably head to the next um, tanks to do a little maintenance and to update on how they're how they're looking and how the the frogs are doing. Hello. One last thing I forgot to do is just gonna give it a quick spray down. They haven't really been out too much because of the cold weather. So they've kind of just been in their coconut for a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some fruit flies. So we have enough food for these hungry little frogs. So I did get some new, ah, uh, okay. Did get some more um, supplies to make some more cultures. Okay, I got everything I need and I'm gonna head into the kitchen so we can make these real quick. I got everything I need. I'm probably just gonna speed up the process so this video isn't like 20 minutes long. But if you have not seen how I make my own cultures, check out my first ever video. I actually showed you guys how I make my cultures and I've been doing it ever since. Okay, I'm done with the fruit flies. And once this cools off, we can add the flies, which I might show later, I might not. But basically once it cools off, I just pour like 50 or so fruit flies in here and then wait like two weeks. And we should start seeing eggs on the sides and then, then we'll just have infinite fruit flies to go around. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of my update for my bioactive dart frog tank. I know this video is a little late for New Year's, but I had a lot of footage to go through and I'll probably just split this video into two parts. So watch out for the part two of this update. In that video, I'll just give you guys an update and do a little maintenance on the other bioactive tanks, as well as sharing my goals and plans for the upcoming future, and as well as a sneak peek at a big, big project coming. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and supporting the channel. Peace.